Obviously, today's elections are the big story across the state. And we have full team coverage. Joining us live in the studio is Eduardo Garcia, reporting on what's at stake for Republicans tonight. But first, Xavier Rangel reporting on the large crowd that turned out last night to hear Bernie Sanders speak. Xavier. Yeah, good evening, Yesenia. Like you said, last night, thousands flooded the Fort Tuthill Amphitheater right here in Flagstaff just to see Bernie Sanders at his second rally in the high country in just a week. And they were all excited to see the candidate just before Election Day. This is a large, loud, and boisterous crowd. I love it. Senator Bernie Sanders speaking in front of a crowd of nearly 3,000 people at the Fort Tuthill Amphitheater in Flagstaff on Monday night. At his final stop before the Arizona primary, Sanders remains hopeful of his presidential ambitions, despite trailing his Democratic opponent Hillary Clinton by almost 200 delegates. So far, the Sanders campaign has thrived on the notion of sticking up to the billionaires of corporate America and giving a voice to the working class. To paraphrase Abraham Lincoln, at Gettysburg. This is a campaign of the people, by the people, and for the people. And at Sanders' second visit to the region, the senator looked to localize national concerns, like increasing minimum wage. Workers in Arizona and across this country have told me is they can't make it on seven and a quarter an hour minimum wage or eight bucks or nine bucks. And my understanding is that right here in Flagstaff, your city council is prepared to go forward and provide a $15 an hour minimum wage. Sanders remains the only candidate to make an appearance in the Northland, something that hasn't gone unnoticed by supporters. Just to have a candidate like Bernie representing the things he represents is amazing to me. And then to have him come to out here at, in the region with the Native American communities and then here in Flagstaff back to back was really special. Now a win tonight will prove crucial for the Bernie Sanders campaign as a win could give him momentum in future primaries. But the delegate pledge delegate cap, gap on the Democratic side is pretty large right now. Right now Hillary Clinton has 1,167 pledge delegates while Bernie Sanders is sitting at 836. But you can't count out the Republican side because of course after tonight one of their candidates will be one step closer to securing the presidential nomination for the Republicans.